Hey friends, welcome back. Look at all of this madness right here, okay? So as you can see, I'm putting together a bundle and then all of this stuff right here is, this was all of my couponing this week at Dollar General as well as Family Dollar, okay? <clears throat> um, might I add, I went to Family Dollar because I was using all the coupons before they came out with the five off of 25. So anywho, yeah. Um, but that's okay. That's all right. So <clears throat> I have been selling bundles. Okay. Let's address something. It is not illegal to sell your couponing stuff. Okay. So first off, I know people might say that second off, you do what you want with your products. This is your shit. If you want to sell it, sell it. I don't know what your financial situation is and I'm the first person I don't judge what nobody else does that's your business so <clears throat> let's address that if you want to sell your bundles sell your bundles I sell my bundles right now because I'm paying some stuff off and I gotta sell my bundles so with that being said guys um I've done this video before I posted on Instagram last week I mentioned it I read it in the comments people ask what do you put in your bundles how much do you sell your bundles for i don't like answering that question because you know why somebody's gonna say something first of all oh you should sell that for that much no you should sell that for that much because that's what you want to sell it i will sell my stuff so fast number one because of my prices <clears throat> and number two I always put a little extra and people will refer me to the next person. Last week, I sold 10 bundles, so I completely sold out of everything. And all week, I shopped to be able to um, stock back up. So with that being said, what I put in my bundle may not be what you put in yours, okay? So let's just address that. I don't know what you pay for your coupons, your gas, your time all of that I don't know what you pay and I don't know what you need financially so I always try to be cheaper than Walmart because anybody can go to Walmart and basically just go buy all of this stuff so what I try to do is I always try to put a body wash now look this is a big old body wash right here I kind of want to keep that for myself but we're not going to say that all right so um and a lot of people always ask like where do I post I just post on my Facebook um <clears throat> I post on my Facebook. I'm not like in a group. It's my personal Facebook. And it's simply shared through my family, my friends, my boyfriend. Um, whether I'm in Texas or Florida, I still sell bundles. Like I have people when I'm in Florida, they want to buy. And I have people in Texas when I'm there, they want to buy. So I'm going to sell bundles regardless of where I'm at. Because everybody knows that I'm the couponer and they always hit me up for stuff so with that being said it's always through word of mouth i don't do like offer up or whatever the mother sites is i'm not on any of those accounts at all so again it's all shared and word of mouth oh i bought this from her hit her up dm her that's how that's how it gets done all right so i try to put at least six laundry soaps sometimes i can't because i run out I've been getting a high demand for gain. Everybody wants gain. I don't know why they don't want to use Tide, but you know, it is what it is. So this is basically all the gain that I have. So I'm going to try to make at least six bundles out of all of this stuff. But as you can see, I do have like Tide Simply and Purex, and then I have Big Tide over here. So I'm going to make this work because I need six bundles. Okay. I got to make six bundles. So, <clears throat> with that being said, here's everything right here. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, seven times four is, what, 28? So, right off the bat, all of the gain detergent stuff is $28. Add this, that's 30 okay? Well, I always add a paper product, whether it's paper towels or tissue. Sometimes if I have a whole bunch, I'll do both, but I don't have that much, so I just do one. So if I just add it 30, then that's 35, all right? Well, here's $5 right here, that's 40. So everything else is extra, okay? So this is how I look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times four is 28, 29, 30. 
this is 35 <clears throat> plus the paper products the scots it's five dollars that's forty dollars worth of stuff right there all right so here we go we got 44 47 48 51 52 55 450 59 50 that's $59 right there and we're not talking about tax guys okay there is no tax so you got to figure in what tax would be so whatever the tax would be then um you figure it's 60 something dollars. So you're basically giving 60 something dollars worth of stuff away for $40. Well, nine times out of 10, it's gonna sell. Now, sometimes if I have a whole bunch of other stuff, like I don't have shampoo and conditioner stopped. I used to, but I just don't. If I had shampoo and conditioner, I would definitely add that. But unfortunately, I don't have it. But this is still a good bundle and like i said add a paper product here let me just grab one so it just looks better okay there we go and like if i had toothbrushes i would throw those in there but this is what you would get from me for forty dollars and again you're you're getting a deal you're getting sixty dollars worth of stuff for forty bucks and like I said, it just depends. Like I might add something else in there or if I feel like I want to like give an extra soap, I'll throw that and say, hey, I don't have enough gain, but this is what I did. I added a Purex, you know? I always just like to be kind and you know, you do good, it comes back to you. So basically that is how I do my bundles. And I do have like my own stockpile. So th just because this is all go going, doesn't mean that oh you don't have anything else no i do i have my own stockpile of stuff so my personal stuff um and then once i make all of my bundles whatever i have left over i might just throw extra in another bundle but i will tell you when you're going to start selling bundles make sure you put like a little disclaimer if you're sharing it on facebook just put all bundles are not the same but you will have equal the amount of items because sometimes when I sell a bundle, they're like, oh, well, I didn't get the shampoo and conditioner. No, but you got an extra laundry detergent instead because I ran out of shampoo and conditioner. So I always put that in the comments. Hey, just to let you guys know, all bundles are not the same, um, but you will have the same amount of stuff in there. I never try to cheat anybody. And, you know, like I said, I, I sell out every single week. I've been doing it. I've been selling bundles. I used to didn't do it all the time. I would just, if someone called me up and wanted to buy something, then I would sell it. But I've been get hit, been, I've been getting hit up every single weekend. So yeah, I hope that this is helpful. I seen on Instagram that Coupon Star had posted a video about selling bundles. I have not watched it, but um, you can also check out her video. Um, I'm sure she has some great tips on there for you guys. Um, and you can see if her video is different and if she has less stuff than me, then that's when you can really see like, oh, everybody prices their stuff differently. And I can't say, you know, what somebody else should pay or charge, you know, people have even told me like, you should charge $50 for that. But if I charge 50, I may not have as many people buying. And I know, you know, I'm not trying to like hustle or swindle anybody. I still want to give my people a good deal but yeah so anyways guys i've done this video i think this is now going to be the first fourth video that i've done on selling bundles so i hope that it's helpful all right i hope it's helpful guys oh wait i was supposed to put this there or i think yeah we'll put this there does that look like a good bundle pick yeah somewhere like that but anyways guys i hope that this is helpful gives you some ideas of what to put in your bundles um pause it screenshot it now you know don't forget to add a paper product if you have enough on stash and i will tell you that cleaning supplies are hot in bundles because everybody wants them all right guys that's it for this video thank y'all so much for watching i love you too back and i'll see you in my next video bye